Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make your own high quality sound effects using an awesome free software called Vital. It's a sound wave generator and it's plenty powerful. It has a basic version that is completely free to use and it's not so basic after all. Essentially, the only limitation is the number of pre-made templates and wavetables, but I can assure you that it's more than enough to make any kind of sound effects. So after downloading and installing it, you can open it up and start messing with the sound and parameters. On the bottom, it has a piano keyboard that can be used to play the sounds. And alternatively, you can also emulate the key presses with your keyboard keys. On the top, you can see the generator that's producing the sound. You can switch between different wavetables where each has its own individual characteristics. On the top right corner, you can see the envelope panel. This will change how the sound fades when you press or release the key. For example, making it stale longer will add a smooth fade out to the sound. On the wavetable panel, you can also modify different things, like the volume of the sound, the pan, which will change which side the sound is coming from, left or right, and you can always revert the knobs back to their original position by double clicking. Next, you can also alter the pitch of the sound, and you can scroll through the wavetable by clicking on it and dragging. Because each wavetable is pretty much a 3D section of different waveforms. Then there are the filters that filter off a section of sound frequencies. And this basic low filter can make the sound more pleasant to the ears. And you can even add more wave generators, up to three, and tune them individually to your liking. The oscillators allow to add some vibration to the sound. This also has a lot of different parameters, but by default they don't do anything. You have to attach them to some other controls. In this case, I'm attaching it to the level knob of the second sound wave. And now you should be hearing some oscillation. For some variety, you can also add a layer of noise. And finally, in the effects tab, you can also add different effects to the entire sound. When you're happy, you can save your vital file, but if you want to export it as a sound effect, you need another piece of software. You need a digital audio workstation, or TO in short. And the one that I'm using is called LMMS. It's a free and open source software for music and sound effect creation. Just download, install, and this is how it looks when you first open it up. It has a song editor with multiple tracks and you can also add your own tracks from the left menu. For example, let's try out some built-in instruments. But for the vital sounds, you need to add an instrument called Vestige 
and then you need to navigate to a very specific folder. On the C drive, go to Program Files and find the folder called Steinberg. Inside of it, you can find the Vital DLL, which is what we need. After that, it will open the Vital window. And to add the notes to the LMMS, you need to press at the beginning of the soundtrack to open the piano roll window. And for a sound effect, you can just draw a single note, which will then start looping when you hit play. Now, let's say we have a task. We want to make a bow sound for a VR game. So first, we should go through the preset library and try to find the most suitable sound for this starting point. Click on the title, display it on top middle, and just listen through different presets. I think I found one which slightly resembles bowstring release. So let's see what we can do with it. It is made of two wave generators and a noise. We can disable some of them to listen them individually. The second wave generator does not seem to sound anything. Let's increase its volume to make it audible. And this is quite similar to a string release. We just need to try to change the sound table to see if we can find something more fitting. And the one that's called Drink the Juice seems to fit quite well. Also playing around with the wave morph a bit and just seeing how it changes the sound. Let's also see what the first oscillator does. After some tuning, I decided I want to add some extra oscillation. For that, I am using the third oscillation channel that is currently free, choosing the growing oscillation curve that looks quite interesting. And then I will attach it to the level knob of the sound wave generator. And also to the noise as well. Eventually, when I'm happy with the sound, I'm heading back to the LMMS and just exporting the sound file in a FAV format. For the final processing, I will also open the exported sound file in Audacity to remove the long tail. And that's it. I hope you find it useful and see you in the next video.